guys it is december 19th and for us here in pennsylvania it has pretty much come to the end of our regular season now i do still have some tags in my pocket that i plan on hunting pretty hard to fill those in the late season when it opens up back here in a couple weeks um, but we have hunted our butts off this season i mean we have gone wide open from really mid-august all the way up until just a couple days ago and I wanted to kind of do a little video to put together some highlights, talk about how our season went. We filmed nonstop, guys, for almost three months. And there has literally been hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of clips and videos that we truly just kind of set aside. I've hunted harder this year than I've ever hunted in my life. I started in August. I went to Wyoming to film my dad, my brother, and my sister-in-law who all had archery antelope tags. And you can check out those videos there on the channel, the full videos. But that was an absolutely sick trip. It was just a great way to start off my season to get really four kills, three bucks and a doe under our belt already on camera. It was just totally worth the trip. But I came home for about nine days and then I was headed to Kentucky with JMO who was able to harvest his first buck with a bow. And for me, that was one of my huge goals this year was JMO worked his butt off last year filming me and my dad all year. And so I really wanted to make sure he got a do uh, buck this year with his bow because he'd never done it. And so it was so cool to go to Kentucky and let him fill that tag opening night on public land. It was just awesome. It was one of the highlights of my year. And that trip just went up from there because then Trey came in from uh, Alabama with Dusty and it was just an amazing nine day trip where he was able to harvest a true giant Kentucky velvet buck and guys that moment of walking up there with Trey like I couldn't have been any happier than watching him kill that deer and it was just literally the pinnacle of Trey's bow hunting career that guy hunts so hard and to have never killed a big deer like that was just so cool to have that happen. We got home from Kentucky um, and we had like 10 days, I believe, before the Pennsylvania season opened, guys. And I had worked my butt off all summer scouting public land, running cameras. I think I was running five or six spots that I had cameras out and I had done a ton of preseason scouting. and. I was pretty pumped. I had a couple of pretty good bucks for around here that I was excited about. I was going to be chasing and I was ready to get after it. But unfortunately, it went south quick. Like within the first week of archery season, I did not end up having any deer on camera. There was just people walking through my spots, blowing spots out. I'd show up to hunt a spot, walk a mile back in and have some dude walking through with a crossbow at right at dark, you know, just blowing deer. Like it just, it was brutal. And so I ended up branching out and I found some other properties and got permission on those properties. And really my season for the rest of October got dedicated to those properties. I ended up slipping into the first property um, I believe it was October 10th and I'm in the stand for maybe an hour it was like 3 30 in the afternoon and all of a sudden I look up and here's just this magnum eight pointer just walking out like he was a true trophy for Pennsylvania and I ended up dedicating almost two and a half weeks to that deer I hunted him I had several other in close encounters with him but just was never able to to kill him and I hunted I believe it was 28 sits from October 1st to October 30th and literally dozens and dozens and dozens of hours guys that were put into that deer and was not able to seal the deal muzzleloader season came in and I never ended up seeing that deer again we were getting the ball rolling but Pennsylvania was coming hard uh, Cody got his first deer which was super awesome i was so pumped for him my dad was able to get a little bit of footage of it um, as you guys can see but it was just awesome for them to share that moment together and then we headed to indiana and that was an awesome trip guys i did not end up harvesting as big of a deer as i wanted to out there but it was just an awesome trip the full video is also on our channel um, you guys can check that out when you have the time but our season was a very blessed year. This 2021 has been an amazing year for me so far uh, with 
just being able to hunt and do what I love and travel the country and chase big game guys it was a it was an amazing year i got married this year which was probably the highlight of my year um i had a lot of awesome things happen this year but that was definitely the best part of it and now i am so blessed to have an amazing wife that i can't wait to bring her out and get some videos of her killing deer and uh, us hunting and fishing together yeah, so. i also was able to harvest a doe here right before my wedding actually and i want to show you guys that video I'm on a new farm. I've never really hunted this place, but supposedly there's a pile of deer, so I'm in this little pinch point between two woods. There's a little strip of trees. Cuts over here to these springs and this other patch of brush. So, big bedding area down behind me. Cornfield here, cornfield there. So, I was supposed to be taking Meg out tonight, but last minute change of plan. So, I'm hunting solo, self-filming. So, we'll see what happens, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fall evening. So, We've been running around crazy getting ready to get married on Saturday, but still finding a little time to put some meat in the freezer, hopefully. smoked that doe. I didn't do an interview right after because there were still a couple out there so I didn't want to spook them out of the country but uh, I ended up sitting till dark and then Meg came over to run camera for me so that's pretty awesome. Our first year recovery together. Exciting. And uh, so we're gonna go back in here. She dropped right on the spot and I didn't even have to shoot her again so I must have caught harder lung because she was expired within 30 seconds and I didn't even have to have a follow-up shot so I really like to see that, but we're gonna get in here and uh, see what we can find. Well, we already know where she is, so mm. not really gonna be a look, but we're gonna go get her out of here. <laughs> this is why I'm marrying her, boys. <laughs> no, this sucks. How about you get short breaks? <laughs> I get long breaks. <laughs> <sighs> She's got her drug back out here to the car. So super thankful for this old girl. Beautiful big doe. It's gonna feed us a lot of meals this winter, which I'm super thankful for guys. So that's one doe tag punch in PA. Still got a couple more left. Meg's got a doe tag and a buck tag. I still got a buck tag. So we're gonna do our best to fill that freezer this rest of this fall. Gun season comes in about a week, but very thankful guys. So we're gonna get her loaded up and head to the meat processors. So that wraps it up guys. That is our regular season in a nutshell. And I just wanted to bring that to you guys, show you a couple little extra clips that you guys hadn't got to see yet because we didn't make those full videos. But thanks again so much for all your support guys. I appreciate y'all subscribing to us and helping grow this following and this channel. We truly are just pushing forward to keep bringing content, guys. We love this lifestyle. We support this community of hunters that are out here filming hunts. And um, we're going to keep at it. And it's just going to keep going uphill from here. And it's going to be great. So thanks for coming on the journey, guys. Be sure to check us out on Instagram at Generations Outdoors 24-7. That keeps all the live daily updates of where we're at, what we're doing as well as some cool pictures from around the country of guys that are hunting with us. So thanks a bunch. Thanks for subscribing and following us along the journey. We'll see you next time.